the holidays are over back to reality I'm saying this for me as much as I am for anyone else it's really easy to get lazy in the winter time in the fall time oh especially in my case because man lord I hate the cold weather <laughs> I wake up and it's uh 40 degrees or under 50 to 50 degrees or under even I don't want to I don't want to get out of bed I won't lie but things have to be done work has to be done here we are it's uh first week of uh January 2024 so the Christmas and New Year's have come and gone we're starting another year starting it out pretty good this week um i've got one job i'm heading to now it's a uh, very simple uh christmas light christmas light takedown job it's the uh the christmas lights that i put up um uh, after thanksgiving for those uh clients i have over here uh my oldest my oldest clients as it were they're about uh Lord, they're in their 90s. They're, they're 92 or 93, something like that. So it's um, it's a quick little uh, Christmas light removal job. Got to take all the lights down and put them back up in the attic for storage. Not too bad. Not too bad of a job. Oh, then, assuming the weather holds up, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but we'll see. I've got a um, pretty big hedge trimming job to go do. It's going to be probably it's probably going to take me the rest of the day in all honesty or maybe even into tomorrow depending on the weather if it starts raining i'll have to shut it down but if it's um if the weather's good i will be at it uh for the rest of the day hmm, it's emergency vehicles anyway yeah the um the holiday hangover as it were you know people people get kind of complacent this time of year and I'm you know I, in the past that's been me as well you know I've been somebody who struggles really badly to get out of bed when it's um when it's below you know when it's below a certain temperature or when I know you know ah, it's slow work right now I'm not doing a whole lot I can sleep in you know and not wake up not keep my normal routine and I get in this funk and it always seems to always happen about December, January-ish, lasting even into March, where a lot of times I'm in this I'm in this funk where I don't want to, I don't really want to do anything. What are these people doing? Going through the light? Come on. Oh, he's turning. Never mind. Fire truck coming. People were I thought people were gonna get about to get in that fire truck's way. Anyhow. So, yeah, you get in this funk, you know, this groove where you are you just kind of want to lay around and be lazy because it's cold outside. It's cold outside. There's nothing to cut. There's no grass to mow. Uh, you know, the trees and the bushes aren't growing a whole lot. There's not a lot of people that want, you know, it's not a big time to do landscaping, gardening, even like plants and whatnot. It's not a good time to do that in the winter. So it's very easy in in my opinion, to get very, to get very, um, lazy and unmotivated. And I've struggled, I, I have really struggled with that in the past. And this year I'm, I'm one of my resolutions, one of my new year's resolutions as it were, is to not do that. And I mean, I, I know I, I slept in a little bit today. I will, I will admit. Um, so maybe I'm not starting off on quite the best foot, but moving forward the next few days, you know, the next few weeks, I've got jobs I'm scheduling, I've got work I'm doing, basically I have to, <clears throat> I have to be productive right now, and I have to be in a position where I can put myself to myself in success, and I can put my business in a position where my business can make money, because uh, my son is coming soon and soon I will need all the 
I will need all the money I can get in order to, in order to better, uh, in order to best take care of him and in order to best assure that, uh, my family is in a position to succeed. And it's a little different when you're, um, when you're a two income household, which we've been for, you know, the past 15 years or however long my wife and I have been together. Um, we've been, we've each worked well. I don't know what the future is going to hold as far as her, as her, as far as her working. She might have to, she might end up having to stay at home with our son. And I, there's, you know, positives and negatives to that. So we're working through that. But one of the negatives, you know, is if that's the case, I have to come up with that extra income in order to, you know, shore up our finances and make sure everything's make sure everything works it works the way it should oh whatever's happening there's a lot of fire trucks moving too wow. but so that's one of the reasons why I've got to fight this you know streak of laziness that I that I'm stuck with you know that I have let grow in my life for for as long as I can remember really I mean I I just not not big on the cold and even in when I was a kid you know it was one of those things where I would be I wouldn't you know I would be always outside and active even when it was 100 degrees middle of the summer you know you couldn't you couldn't find me inside most of the time but during the winter time it was it's like you know it's hard to get off the couch it's hard to get off the bed and I guess I should have defeated those to set to put the use the expression those demons I should have put those demons to rest many years ago but I did not and so here I am now you know into into you know closer to 40 than 30 as I am and I'm you know I'm not getting any younger I've got to I've got to stay in shape I've got to stay active stay moving even during the times I don't want to so just a quick little heads up and a quick little quick little um, quick little teaser for the upcoming season. It's gonna be a great season. I'm I'm really excited about where my business and where my life is going this year. I'm feeling great, my body's in good shape, which is the big was the biggest question mark going into the 2023 season was how's my body gonna hold up? And we went through a whole season with no issues and you know I was able to perform and able to do what I needed to do and I made some alterations to my to my work ethic in order to ensure that my you know body would hold up and I've been keeping you know workout routines re almost regularly the last two months or so I kind of slacked off but we're gonna get back into it we're gonna get back into that this week get back into that routine mm, so um 2023 was a great year. 2024 is going to be a great year too. I, um, I've got some really good ideas on how to maximize profits and how to increase, you know, makes basically grow my client base this year and focus on working around my area more. And I'm also adding some services to my business. I'll talk about that later. Um, but I'm adding some services. I've kind of been beta testing a little bit this past two months, but I'm going to be adding a few things on that I uh, haven't offered before. Some of them, some services I've never offered before that I'm going to try out and, you know, see where that gets me. And hopefully that will be one thing that will be like the missing piece that will help me, help me to uh, take my business to the next level. All right, we're almost to this property, and I'll uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, not have any issues with weather today. It's honestly right now it's looking like it could go could go either way. There's uh, some clouds and there's some sun trying to come through, but who knows? Who knows if that'll happen? Is this guy going this way. Yeah, it looks like he is. Okay. Don't want. Don't want to hit anybody. All right. Hope everybody else has a happy new year and a great start to 
great start to the 2024 season. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Day two of our shrub trim cleanup job here. Got to clean up all this along here. As you can see how steep is this steep and as uh, wet as this embankment is needless to say it's a pretty treacherous part i got the battery and the gas powered echo so we're gonna gonna get both of them to work here also got the chainsaw because there's a big one there i'm probably gonna have to cut out oh man here we go luckily it's not uh it's not too cold today it's about 45 so not bad Compared to yesterday, it was about 35. Check it out, big suns. I'm wearing red again. It's warm enough. Got up to the 60s today, which is great. Let me able to not wear that thick, heavy jacket everywhere. I've still got my gas-powered equipment with me, giving the batteries a little rest. Lost one of my locks. Eh, it'll turn up somewhere. Hopefully. Unless it's laying back there on the road somewhere. I think that happened to my old uh, my old red phone. It's very sad. I had a lot of memories on that phone. But it is what it is. Just the front yard here today. That one over there probably needs to be done too. A lot of leaves down still. But another day, we will tackle that one another day.
paint a little picture for y'all just in case you were wondering just how big this backyard is this is my childhood home this is where i grew up for the most part at least most of the majority of what i remember and believe it or not at one time back here there's just a trailer back here right now but at one time there was a whole junkyard back here and when I say junkyard, I do mean junkyard. There was about six or seven vehicles back here in this backyard. We had a, see, there was a 1974 Impala right, right here, a white one, white 74 Impala sedan, the four door. There was a uh, 80s Caprice Classic right here. There was a, 82 Ford Mustang right here. Coupe with the 2.3 liter four cylinder, not the not the fastback with the 5.0, unfortunately. There was an old uh, Pontiac 6000 over here. There was a blue 79 Malibu Classic four door sedan over here. There was a uh, there was a wrecked uh, mid mid to late 80s, maybe early 90s ford uh station wagon like an esquire station wagon or something like that i don't remember exactly the front end was all torn up it was wrecked it wasn't operable it was right here <laughs> oh man crazy this backyard i measured it one time it's 100 feet from the beginning of the house to the edge of that fence is 100 feet and then the sideways span oh it's probably about 50 feet, maybe 60 feet, something like that. Oh, but anyway, yeah, this was my uh, this was my backyard growing up. This is where I mowed my first lawn. This backyard was my was the first lawn I ever mowed. It's probably going to be the last lawn I mow this week as well because it's supposed to have really bad weather tomorrow and Saturday, and then it's supposed to get really cold next week. So. Here we go. Let's uh let's go ahead and grab this blower and wrap this up. <laughs> 